All right, YouTube, what is up? It is uh, another week, and we are going to tie this here Clauser Minnow. Just a variation of Clauser Minnow. It's just all synthetic uh, on a jig hook. This is all uh, ripple ice. So it's, we're just going to call it a ripple ice Clauser. Uh, it's, uh, <clears throat> like I said, all synthetic, so it's going to cut down through the water nice and quick. Uh, it will present itself in the water like this, though. As you can see, with the jig hook, this is a size uh, 4 A-Rex jig hook and a set, a set of medium dumbbell eyes. So we've got a few videos all uh, lined up here for the next uh, week. We should have two a week here for the next couple weeks, hopefully. Uh, some nymphs, some streamers, just different stuff. Uh, just getting back into the swing of filming and running the shop and all of that. Uh, the baby's actually here with us today <laughs> in the shop. So it's our, uh, me and Jamie's anniversary today. So, uh, <clears throat> here we are <laughs> working. <laughs> oh, my new wedding ring. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to get this out of the voice and we're going to start another one for you guys. Without further ado. We're going to tie a little bit different um, color scheme with this one. Hang on. I'm going to grab a hook. Okay. I think we got things a little bit more figured out here. We got our A-Rex FW550 in a size 4. We'll stick that in the voice here. And we're going to use a set of... Yeah, we're going to go with white on this one. White medium dumbbell eyes from Hairline, just the painted dumbbell eyes, the cheap ones. I'm just going to come in with uh, <clears throat> some thread. I'm going to use a thicker thread for this just to help uh, hold their eyes in and in place. Uh, this is Vivas Power Thread 140 in white. And there's only going to be a few materials. The, the point of this fly is going to be quick. We want to tie this fly quick. It's going to be... Uh, in contact or close to the bottom so we want to be able to tie it quickly so that we can if you lose some it's no big deal if, uh, you got to be in those right areas the <laughs> the snaggy areas are where the fish are going to be so that's where we want to put this fly we want to put it into all those snaggy areas that might not see flies or lures that often so Right now, we're going to move you guys a little bit here. Make sure we're focused. Okay. I have my thread on just about, just in front of our uh, point of our hook here. Slightly back from uh, the bend in our shank. Just so we can attach some materials in front here near the end. When we're building the head of the fly. So, to attach these eyes, we're just going to go over top. I like to do six wraps, that's three, four, five, six, one way, then come over the other way, start pulling them back, five, six, one, two over, and then I come around all those wraps and just tighten everything down, and two more, back and forth, and then we're just going to hit that with some super glue, just make sure we're all straight where we want it to be. We want these perpendicular to our hook shank and just everything is all uh, straight and lined up here. So for this I like to use a real thin super glue. This is uh, the ultra thin material or uh, Loctite. Just gets in there and it's gonna get into those wraps more in, in our eyes. It's just to help make them a little bit more uh, rigid. So first so, yeah, only material we're going to use for this fly is going to be our hook, our lead eyes, and ripple eyes. So we're going to use a couple different colors on this combo. Uh, to do a two-tone one, you're just going to do, you know, belly one color, top one color, but we're going to do a little bit different. Our top's going to be two different shades, you'll see at the end. So, we're just going to come in here, we're going to grab... A nice little stack of our ripple ice. This is the minnow mix color. 
and if you're a little bit dense on this it's not a big deal it's a synthetic so it will still cut through the water pretty well and you can always just cut some out too so it's a uh, it's not the worst fly to be a little overdressed which is not always the case so we're just going to tie these each of these stacks in about 50 50 and tie it in with one two three four wraps and we're going to pull everything up pull up got it on top of our hook I'm just going to pull that down tight and on top ah moving around like crazy okay we have it all on top we're just gonna tie over top of our tie in point with a few wraps and we'll move to about halfway between this stack and our eyes we're gonna switch over to the top portion of our fly. I'm going to tie in our first color on top. First color on top is going to be copper. Copper ripple eyes. I'm going to take a little bit, a little bit denser stack for the tops than we have on the bottom. Just going to help to invert our hook. We got our stack there. I'm going to measure it back about the same length as our tail section. Same thing, 50-50, we're going to tie one, two, three, four wraps. Get that material split, push that back through. It's going to hold everything back and tight. And then wrap over top, there you go. Vice, or the hook moved a little bit in the vice, but we're all good. We got that right where we want it, split. So now what I do is I'm going to actually pop this out of the vise quick for a sec. I'm just going to preen these back together. So we look like that. And then we're going to be back tying on the belly section. So we want our thread just in front of our eyes here. We're going to come in with another stack of the minnow mix. go. Just going to measure it just a little bit shorter than our one in the back goes to. Tie that down with a few wraps, same thing, pull it all up and tight. Up and tight. Come on. Right, I'm going to pull right behind our eyes. Get that one, two, three wraps. Spread it around a little bit. A couple more wraps, and then right back up in front of our eyes again so we can tie in our last stack for the top. So, for our last stack for the top, we're going to use the color uh, peacock ice dough or <laughs> rib ice in the color peacock. I come in with a Nice little portion of this here. Get all of our tips lined up. I can hear the baby. <laughs> so there we go. I'm going to do that same thing, just a little bit shorter than the stack in front of it on this side. Just wet these materials a little bit just to get them forward and tame down a little bit go over that with some wraps I'm gonna pull back with their thumb we're gonna push it back okay we got that nice and tight wrap right over top of the material we're just gonna build a little bit of a thread head here Okay, we're going to half itch off to finish and just do a little bit of UV work 
And I will be right back with you guys. All right, we had a little crying episode. <laughs> but we've remedied it, and we are all good. We're just going to, I got my half hitches in here. I'm going to cut off our thread. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a... Work those materials together a little bit. Now we will invert once again, and we just got to do our UV work. So for these, just do it quick and easy. Like I said, we're going to be close to contact with the bottom here, so we don't want to do. <clears throat> we don't want to take too much time on this fly that very well can get lost pretty easily. <laughs> so. I'm just going to do a coating of UV around these thread wraps and over over our eyes a little bit here. Get our thread wraps on top. Okay. I'm just going to cure that all. Yeah, another thing I really like about this pattern is Color options are pretty much endless. There's uh, tons and tons of different colors of this ripple ice. Uh, I actually have a few more that I just ordered. Just so we have uh, all of them. Uh, I actually ordered them for these uh, flies in particular. Because you got to have a black and purple one. I don't have purple yet. Well, I have the electric purple, but I don't have er, electric ripple ice in purple. I don't have the electric purple ripple ice <laughs> so we're working on getting that in here but we have cured this up and this is all set there you go I have a ripple ice clouser minnow this is a great pattern i love this pattern for dirty water and just anything, if a fish likes flash, this is the fly. This fly is pretty much exclusively flash. So it definitely turns heads and it gets seen in dirty water and stained water and sometimes even in uh, bright sky conditions. Uh, sometimes a flashy fly will work better in uh, very clear skies, which is <laughs> seems <laughs> counterproductive, but... Uh, I don't know why, but they don't seem to mind. <laughs> so once again, yeah, this is just a uh, variation of a clauser minnow. Very flashy, synthetic clauser minnow. Uh, the ripple ice and the hooks and uh, dumbbell eyes and thread and everything used to tie this fly are available through our online store. Uh, as well as I may add these uh, flies to inventory too. Uh, I'm not sure. It's just one I mostly just tie for myself and friends and stuff like that at this point. But yeah, thank you for watching the video. And I should have another one for you guys on Friday. We're going to have an extra nymph video on Friday. So thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to the channel.